Hello everybody, welcome to our first of a number of Unified Sports track and field videos um, to better enhance your launching of this program. I'm Dan Masters, Assistant Director at the NSAA. Um, some of you have already seen some of the things I've done in the past with bowling and I, I dabbled with track and field a little bit last year with Unified Sports Track and Field. I am in the process of now launching a large number of videos that will hopefully help you as you prepare for the 2019 Spring Unified Tr Sports Track and Field Exhibition season. Um, so this is the first of many. All of these will be a couple minutes in length. I don't want to inundate you with too much information. Um, most of them will be centered and geared around explaining the program and how you can implement it this spring. And um, early on, I'm going to concentrate on what you should focus on to build the program. So with that, today I want to really hit on two topics um, one, building your tribe, and then two, a um, little bit of an assignment as we prepare for the second video. So the first thing is, again, welcome. This is exhibition. Uh, we had hoped to, in 2019, launch it full-fledged. We didn't quite get the schools that we wanted to, the number of schools to participate. So now we're, we're shifting towards building our numbers up so that maybe we can launch it in 2020. Um, so with that, first and foremost, as some of you have heard me talk about in the past, in order for you to have a successful launch of this new program, you, either as an administrator or coach watching this video, um, you will need to work on building your tribe locally at your high school. And uh, some of you have probably heard of Seth Godin in, in his book, Tribes. Um, this is your team of people that you can rely on to successfully launch this new program. So the people that you wanna really get involved right away in building your tribe are administrators, superintendents, principals, ADs, um, your special education department is going to be vital for you, um, and I'm going to talk about that more in upcoming videos. You're going to want to get your coaches, obviously, on board, and then your community, whether it's parents that may be helping you, assisting you, or supporting you, but also those students in your community that are going to participate. So really start working on those people and um, launching what your vision is for launching Unified Sports Track and Field within your school. The other piece to this is with building your tribe is you're going you're gonna to rely on people, um, yourself included, to recruit participants. And so getting the word of mouth marketing already started within your school is important. That in, may be involved in a, having a pep rally um, where you can make an announcement of you having unified track and field. Um, maybe it's in school announcements. Maybe it's in a newspaper. It just whatever way you communicate within your school and, and spread that word about this new program is going to be vital. So those are two things you can work on right now. Get building your tribe, which maybe you already have, strengthening your tribe, but also recruiting participants. So with that, two assignments, and then we're going to be done. The first one is start familiarizing yourself with the actual program. It's going to look like this. 2019 Unified Sports Track and Field Exhibition Program. It's updated for this spring. It is posted on our website. I have the link at the bottom of this video here on YouTube. Read through that program. Start familiarizing yourself with this program if you are a coach, but also as an administrator. There's some key things in it regarding eligibility and who can participate and how they participate and how you set up the program. Um, again, it's available on our website. Go to the NSA page, click on the Unified Sports tab, then go to the Unified Sports Track and Field tab. You'll find this there. Second part of the assignment is just familiarizing yourself with some stipend money that we have available to you for participating. Um, as a lot of you know, we partner with Special Olympics Nebraska in launching these unified sports programs. Last spring, many of your high schools signed up for and signed up on an intent form and showed us you were going to participate in unified track and field and hope for some funding. Part of signing up for this intent form was you were going to become a unified champion school where you would fulfill some criteria out of three components. And through fulfilling that criteria, you would be eligible to receive some funding. I'm excited to announce that, that our schools that have signed up on that intent form, and this is linked at the bottom of this video and also it's available on our, our unified sports webpage. Those of you that are a unified champion school are still eligible for this money, even though it's an exhibition form. We're able to provide $500 for those unified champion schools. Again, those schools that signed up on this form. 
The, the way we're going to have these payouts this year, and I'm going to explain it further next video, is through um, some social media campaign that we're going to start this spring. And uh, again, the link is at the for this is also at the bottom of this video. I'm going to explain this a little bit further um, next video. But um, my, my point of bringing this up now is that I want you to make sure that one... Are you a unified champion school already? Maybe through unified bowling or unified track and field you signed up last spring. And if you are, make sure you check out the social media campaign in preparation for next video. If you are not signed up to be a unified champion school, maybe your high school just decided, hey, I heard the NSA is going to have a unified track and field this last fall. We didn't sign up. You can still sign up and get some $500 funding by becoming a unified champion school. And again, the link for this document is on the bottom of this video, but the key is there's three components you have to fulfill. And those three components require some, some planning and preparation for you as a school. So again, just wanted to make you aware there's $500 funding available, even though this is exhibition, you gotta be a unified champion school. And I will break down the social media campaign and how you acquire your check um, the next video, okay? So again, welcome to Unified Track and Field. Be ready for more videos. There's going to be more to come. And do not hesitate to contact me with questions as you learn the program. Thanks.